All right guys, Mike Witt with Contech Industries and today we're bringing some kit out to our range. We have weapons ports, we have shields. Here he's shooting a nine millimeter and so he's gonna do eight to 10 rounds into the shield uh, st front strike face as well as the ballistic viewport. Uh, and we'll see what happens. So yeah, so we're coming back here just to look at any back face deformation or anything. We don't have any on the back of the mobile response shield. Viewport glass here, it, you really only had fracturing and cracking on the exterior layer. Uh, there's no real penetration into the, into the multi-layers of the glass. So, um, you know, in terms of visibility, you're, it's definitely obviously uh, hampered, but you can definitely still see through the viewport and engage targets as needed. So uh, next we'll do the same thing, something similar with 45, and then we'll upgrade to, uh, to rifle rounds. This is dot four five ACP for your notes. Okay. You're shooting? Yeah. Yeah, I would. <laughs> All right. Same thing. I don't think anything changed except. Actually, it's starting to make its way to the back layer. Yep. And you should get in there. I think the uh, 556 it might have three shots on it before it starts coming through. All right. You're gonna do that next? Sure. That's about, probably about 25 feet away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice. That one had some spillage. The sl I mean, a little paint chipping on the back. That's pretty much it. Yeah. This is starting to bulge a little bit with the poly starting to separate some. Yep. But it's still. No, no, no cracking in the last layer of glass right. at all. Uh -uh. Yeah. We'll see what happens next time. Yeah. All right, let's do 308. All right, you good? Still nothing out the bat. Yeah, what a hit right there. The 308 just gave a little bit deeper bulge, but I mean, mm -hmm. pretty sweet, boys. You're definitely not see shooting through that painting. <laughs> <No. laughs> 